It's time for Team Mom Trash Talk with Tracy and Noel. Hello and welcome to Team Mom Trash Talk. This is episode 258. I'm your host. I'm Tracy and that's Noel. Hi. I'm a comedian. She's a snake. I'm a person, a person who's a part time snake. <laughs> You're a oh, like um, like a serpent, like with the legs. Oh, I want to be a serpent. OK, Noel, you're a serpent. I like serpents. You and, uh, are with the legs. Yeah. Like in the Bible, you remember the guy has the legs. It's like the half snake half. No, I'm just thinking of like a centaur, right? Is no, like no, 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 no. Blah, snake blah. with legs is called. Um, yeah. Hold on one second. Snake with legs. Yeah. You should Google snake legs Bible. Yeah. Snake legs Bible. Hold on. <laughs> yeah. It, it literally, it comes up like I didn't even have to tape, type that in. Um, yeah. The the Bible tells them that after this is the Adam and Eve story, after taking the after the talking snake tempted Eve with some seedy pomegranate, God cut off all the snake's legs. That's why they don't have legs anymore. But the in the story, they have legs. Who the fuck wants pomegranate? That's what Eve, uh, Eve did this. She did this for us for all those seeds in her teeth. <laughs> Thanks, Eve. She's like, wait, how do you even peel this thing? Wait, come back. <laughs> come back. Seriously. It's not even like a good fruit. She's like, so what fruit these- would you sell us out for? Maybe like a good nectarine or okay. something. Okay, Noelle, it's like we really do share a brain because I was going <laughs> right? to say I would sell you down the river for a nectarine. But that's what I'm saying. Good, a good watermelon, a very good nectarine, a very good watermelon, a very delicious peach, a white peach. Mm-hmm. No, I like, like not peaches, a, a little tartar pomegranate. I like sweeter. Yeah, well, that's who you are. That's like selling me out for like a yellow apple. Yuck. A mealy apple last season yeah if you guys want more of this go to patreon.com slash trash talk podcast where you can get our bonus episodes uh bs unexpected trash talk everything that you could ever want a lot of apple talk all of the apples uh young and pregnant season three episode 15 who's ready i'm ready all right we're gonna start off with rachel i hope things happen Uh, in this season right yeah Cause this show is like very volatile and wild. And so far it's like watching just one of the regular teen mom yeah, franchises. Because, well, that's the thing. It's like, we went back on the break to watch uh teen mom too. And it's like, Oh, this is like insane. Yeah. Uh huh. And this is not so insane. I feel like they got money too quickly. Okay. I agree with you on that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So like we need uh, you poor for a few more seasons. <laughs> yeah. We'll give you the, I'll put the money in escrow for you. Right whatever that means sure i'll make you a trust fund baby basically basically like right. you know you you pay them but like they don't have access to it yet because it's like okay. we have to see you be poor for a little bit i could see that yeah okay. so uh we're gonna start off with rachel my little baby girl mm, yeah she's so great she's at the park with mallory and the kids and she's like hey mallory how's your dating life and mallory's like well and she's like anyway let's talk about noah let's talk about your foundation choice rachel um Listen, I have an answer for that. What's your answer? She didn't have contacts. I know, but like, come on. Rachel has never seen before. Okay. She saw enough to draw a heart on her cheekbone every day for a year, but she, she didn't, didn't even know enough. that was a heart. That's a- <laughs> right. She thought it was a star. She didn't even know. So um, she's talking about Noah. She's talking about how great he is. She's talking about how just like I like how um, and I'm not diagnosing her with anything, but I like how manic she talks about things sometimes. Always Mm -hmm. like it's like she doesn't even finish a sentence. She's like, yeah, and then Noah and then Noah's just, you know, he's like so great. And then he's just like really. And then, you know, it's like good because like now we have a family and then like, you know, he does the chalk and then like I'm like, I love this. I know that mom thinks I'm doing so good because of Noah, but it's me. It's 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 all me. It's me. It's Uh like I did say, you remember when Dr. Drew said and then we went to therapy and then but we didn't go, but it didn't matter because like I just needed to say that I was going to go to therapy instead of going. Oh, you do do a good Rachel. Thank you. (laughs) Well, she's my daughter. It's in my genes. Then we go to Noah's mom's house and she is. This is how you know she's my daughter, too. She's decorating. What is she decorating? She uh, she brought a little pot of fake flowers and she's like, Noah, put these over there. Oh, yeah, looks good. (laughs) Because she lives in his bedroom with him. No, I know. 
And it's so crazy because like he makes some money. So I'm surprised that they don't have their own place. No, she but she, it, like, I think she she said that she does have her own place. Though, well, remember? that's what I was going to say. She makes it like they have their own place, but it's just his mom's house, I guess. Right. Yeah. So she wants her license um, and she's <laughs> OK. I want you to be Noah and I'm going to be Rachel slash Tracy. OK. OK. Um, I think I'm going to go get my license tomorrow. Oh, OK, cool. Yeah. But, you know, it was like your family liked you a lot better. They put you in school. They put you at you were in school for like, you know, you were driving the car and then like, you know, they put you in school and they paid for it. Oh, yeah. See, I it's did, just really I, different with me because like my my family, like they didn't really care about me. Like my mom didn't love me. So like and then I had to go live with Nana. Right. Well, yeah, I took the classes. Yeah, I know. And I didn't take the classes because like my parents were poor and then like my dad left me and my dad left me and like I don't have a dad. And then like, you know, so I couldn't really go into the car and then like turn the wheel. Oh, OK. That's so, very like even when like, like when my baby needs formula, like I had to ask like Drew and then like he, you know, overdosed and then like he went to jail <laughs> and then, you know, and then, you know, uh, everyone's like in jail. And it, like, I didn't even know who the father of the baby was. <laughs> oh, OK. So you're going to get her license. Yeah, I think I should get my license, but I'll just have to study on my own because I'm poor. Let me ask you a question. Did mm-hmm. your parents put you in school to get your license? OK, so here's the thing. Mm-hmm. Yes and no. Okay, same. Right. Did I have to study for the permit test, which is what she's doing right now? It's a pamphlet. You read a pamphlet. Oh, is that is that all she's doing? She's studying for her permit. That is correct. That's the first step. Yeah, but I think that she's had a license, didn't she? Because the next episode, she talks about her license got revoked or something. Yeah, You got to start over. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if that's true because I didn't have to start over. When I got my license revoked, um, I th- probably in her state, you have to start over. maybe in her state. I don't know. A, I just feel no, like, well. did she never have a license? So I here's the thing. You and I went to driver's ed. Mm-hmm. OK, we went to driver's ed, but we didn't go to driver's ed for our permit test. We oh. took our permit test. Right. And then we had our permits so that we can go to driver's ed. She, you, you think she's studying for her road test? I don't know. Mm-mm. She's studying for the written test for the permit. Right. But isn't, but you also, when I took, I never had my permit though. I just got my license because I didn't have to get my permit because I took driver's ed. Mm-mm. Like you had, to, you had to have your permit to take driver's ed. I didn't. You did. I literally, it's I promise legal. you, I did not have my permit. Like I can promise you, I didn't have my permit. I never went okay. and well, got that's my permit. Not how it works though. Okay, that's fine. But I did not like I did not have my permit. I did not have my junior's license because they did away with a junior's license at the time. I had I had a junior's license. Okay, but when I did it, there was no junior's license. There was. Okay, it was my parents had junior licenses. My brother had a junior. license. No, I know. But then they got rid of junior. I'm I like I'm not. And then they went back to it. I didn't. Okay, so here it wasn't it wasn't exactly a junior's license. This is what I had to do. I had to get my permit. Right. Because I wasn't allowed to take drivers out without a permit. You're not in the state of New York allowed to drive any kind of car, even. Well, actually, in New York City, unless you're in a driving car with dual brakes. I was, though. Right. Right. You're not even allowed to drive with a permit. In the city, unless the car has dual brakes. Okay. I'm just telling you, I didn't have my permit. I like so we can agree to disagree forever. I guess so, because it's which just is legal. OK. No, um, that's fine. I didn't have my so permit. So you never took a written test and got a permit. Tracy, I didn't yeah. have my permit. So you never like, took a written test in the DMV. Tracy, I don't know, but I did not have my permit. I'm telling that's you. That's how you get your license, though. You got to take a written test. It's like you read a pamphlet. I'm telling you, Noel, this is just it's just a fact. OK, you get- but I'm telling you, I didn't have it. Just like you think I didn't have the measles or whatever. Oh, polio. I, no, I never had polio. I knew a kid that had polio. Okay. He had so first, listen, maybe, you know, maybe you never had your license. Maybe you still don't have your license. Who knows? I, know, I have it now. Who knows? To I've get your license, you have to take the written test. You get your permit and then you take the driving test and then you pass the driving test. You don't have to take driver's ed to take the driver's test. But if you're below, if you're below a certain age, you, a take certain driver's age, ed. you yeah. have to take driver's ed to get your license. If yes. not, you have to wait until you're like 17 or 18 or whatever. Right. Because so, I took it when I was 17, not when I was 18. OK, so I took it when I was 16. I took driver's ed. I got my license. Um, so I got my license, but I'm actually even in New York City, you're not allowed to drive, even if you have your license, if you're under 17, because it's that's like considered like, I guess, like your junior's license. 
Um, but then on your 17th birthday, that's when it's valid. Because I can promise you, I can at least promise you there was no junior's license. No, no, I believe what, I, I understand what you're saying. It wasn't like a different card. No, no, no. I'm saying that the, the reason why there was no junior's license also was probably had to do with my age because I was 17 at the yes. time. Like there was yes. no junior's license. Yes. That's what I'm telling you. If you were 17, like, then you didn't have yeah. to have a junior's license. No, no, no. License. I took it when I was 17. I was like a senior okay. or something. So I yeah. got my license. I passed my road test when I was 16 years old, mm -hmm. but I was not allowed to drive until my 17th birthday. Right. Because that's it's, when it's I know into... other states it's younger. Yes. But here it's not. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. This I, I remember all of this clearly. I, think, I remember taking it in Junior for Juniper Park. I took my road test. So did I. That's so um, funny. Yeah, that's it's a pretty big testing area for. I the, just feel like that was big. actually a very good place to learn how to drive too. Yeah, it wasn't bad. The good thing about my uh, my test was there was a lot of snow on the floor. Oh, I took it in the summer. I took it in the dead of winter. Oh, right God. after a snowstorm. So they didn't even know how close I got to the curb or not. <gasps> That's crazy. I'm surprised that they even like let people like kids do that, like get right. their license in like the snow. They didn't cancel. Nope. That's so crazy. Nope. No, I took it like it was like a summer class instead of like, you know, like you would take summer. Yeah, school. yeah, I yeah. Just took you it over the summer. Yes. Yeah. Because it's fine. It was like an hour a day. Who cares? And you're so excited to go that you don't even care that you're right. Going to I went every time. Saturday for like months. Right. Yeah. It took like two months. So she was just studying for her permit. That's all she's doing. This Regardless, not, it's she not the put bar a more effort into it, though. It's not the bar. Um, so she basically um needs her contacts for because she needs to get contacts because she can't see so i wanted to ask you this she doesn't wear glasses right am i crazy like does she just lives life blurry all the okay. time so <sighs> she's like an older teenager so she's like 18 right right um she just knew she couldn't see recently like that's what I'm because I would have blurry vision for one day. She likes having blurry vision. Right. So she got her contacts and she paid one hundred one dollars. And Noah's like, OK, I'll give you half of the money. For what? Why? OK, I'll pay for one eye. Why? <laughs> Do you want left or right? What is he like about her? Like, no offense, but what are her qualities? I don't understand anything in this relationship. Yeah. She's like, okay, thank you. Is this like a business arrangement? Yeah, I don't know. I feel like he seems to be, listen, he's out there, but he seems to be like on the right track just in general. And it's like, they're the weirdest pairing to me. Yes. So now yeah. do you, the funny thing is, is that when she got her contact, she put them in and it was just snake eyes. She had like the swirlies on it. They were just, um, she bought them at the mall. <laughs> I remember I used to want those white <laughs> contacts. Oh, that's so scary. I always wanted purple ones. Oh, like my grandma used to tell me Elizabeth Taylor really had purple eyes. It was real. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. I'm just saying. Or, Noah paid for half of hers. She doesn't <laughs> like she says she just doesn't like seeing at all. OK, but don't you want to see your daughter? Mm, apparently not. Um, and this is why you remember when they were the kids were opening um presence at the house and uh -huh. on Instagram I think it was like on Instagram stories or whatever and there was like roaches crawling on yeah them. yeah Con she didn't see it she couldn't see it she couldn't see it so she said that's why she, she dated Jacob she couldn't see what he looked like she couldn't see what any of them looked like yeah she now she said that now that she has contact she hates her teeth they look like corn kernels she's crying corn kernel ass teeth bitch <laughs> like what oh well so she's like yelling at the mirror like she's an eight mile it's so yeah. funny. <laughs> she was um, she's like, my makeup isn't good. Like, I can't like oh. I wanted to sing to her. Would you want to sing to her? Sing to me. A whole new world. <laughs> <laughs> Cute. Cute. I know Cute. it's like I'm I can show you the world. I'm just I'm her contacts. But like shining. Does she know what Noah looks splendid. like? Splendid. OK, now. Imagine she puts her contacts in. Uh huh. She looks in the mirror. She's like, look at my bitch ass, stupid ass, slut ass, <laughs> poor ass, corn kernel teeth. And then she looks over and she goes, who are you? Right. 
And he's like, hey, it's me. I paid for the left. <laughs> and she's like, no, who are you? And meanwhile, he's like sitting there and he's like, you look fine. And she's like, no, but who are you? <laughs> and she's like, hey, he's like, get out, let's get out of here. This, who is that? And he's just like, daddy, daddy, daddy. Like, no, we're going, we're going out. We're out of here. There's a stranger. There's a stranger in my That's house. That's a good one. So um, she was supposed to go to the DMV. So she takes Hazley to Stephanie's house to watch her. Right. I don't know how she gets there, but yes, <laughs> she uh, honestly, she Piggy navigated her. <laughs> she navigated her through the woods mm-hmm. because she can now see in the night. <laughs> She has her night vision contacts on. <laughs> um, so oh, she, uh, yeah, it just, those, those eyes cut through anything. Um, <laughs> and she woke up in the morning. I mean, I, I made that part up. I don't yeah, think she did. right. She woke up at 3 p.m. And she was like, oh, I can't go to the DMV because Noah has work. He was at work when you took Hazley. Right. What? She's like, yeah, I didn't want to make him get up. But why didn't he? Why didn't you make him drive you when he got home from work? Right. That's. But that's what I mean. She didn't. I'm sure want the to. DMV isn't closed. This is probably like West Virginia area. So I don't understand any of this. So she didn't go. She's got her contacts, and right. she goes. She takes her contacts. She goes over to Stephanie's house. Right. She forages through the w- woods. Mm-hmm. She finds yeah. some berries and nuts along the way. Yes. <laughs> um. So she gets there. Right. And it's just, it's so beautiful. Emerson's so pretty. I just want to say that she's, she's like such cute. a pretty little girl. Uh huh. Noel, what's happening? Stephanie's like, oh, she stays up all night long. She wakes up all night. What's going on? And she's like, yeah, I didn't know Noah's at work. You didn't know Noah's at work. She you put your contacts and you can see now. <laughs> you could see a schedule. You can see if he's there or not. <laughs> maybe she didn't have her contacts in and she thought he was there. I, she I put guess them in and she was like, excuse me. <laughs> I've been talking to a pile of clothes this whole time. Excuse me, sir. Can you please drive me to the DMV? Hello? <laughs> Hello? Can we go to sleep now? <laughs> um, I guess Hazley, Hazley, Hazley has just no discipline. Right. But it's like you're home with her 24-7. Right. Literally, you can't leave the house. Right. Yeah. Mm-mm. Oh, God, it's so weird. Mm-hmm. Stephanie is just not interested. She's like, are you going to do anything productive? <sighs> she's like, or yeah, she's like, I always do productive things. Yeah, I could see. <laughs> I'm looking. Uh-huh. I'm busy looking, ma. But she didn't, you know, she couldn't study because those days were filled with sleeping. What? Also, she couldn't read. She, she didn't couldn't have read her eyes. pamphlet. Oh my god! Well, I love it. I'm now. I'm just going to think about a pamphlet all the time. <laughs> it is. It's just a pamphlet. It's not really that deep. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, all of the girls on this show, mm-hmm. a lot of really bad fake eyelashes. Bad fake eyelashes. You're not wrong. I am so grateful that we don't have to use fake eyelashes because we use liquid lash extensions mascara from Thrive. I wear it every day. I literally wear it every day. Yeah, me too. It's the only mascara I'll wear now. I'm obsessed with it. Every time Mm -hmm. I wear it, people are like, your lashes look so good. And I'm like, yeah, they're mine. The other day you said you have lash extensions, Noelle. Yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm. Well, Thrive Cosmetics is high performance beauty and skincare products made with clean skin loving ingredients and causes in the name for a reason because every purchase supports organizations that help communities thrive. Ooh. All right. So let's tell you about the Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara. This is their best selling product. It has more than 20,000 five star reviews. Cool. It is ultra lengthening, eye opening mascara. It lasts all day without clumping, smudging or flaking. It mimics the look of lash extensions without damaging glue or expensive salon prices. And also you don't have to put lash extensions on. It's the best part. And it's easy removal. The tubing formula slides right off of warm water and a washcloth. No soap required. And that's Noelle's favorite part. God, I cry it off. (laughs) You really do. Um, 
there's also I use a lot of their products. You do too. The brilliant mm-hmm. eye brightener and the sunproof three in one invisible priming sunscreen has been so helpful this summer. Mm-hmm. The defying gravity eye lifting cream. I like the the sunscreen because it's a skincare makeup hybrid and it protects skin with SPF 37. It perfectly preps makeup and helps prevent the appearance of aging skin from sun damage. Favorite. I love Thrive Cosmetics because for every product purchase, Thrive Cosmetics donates to help communities thrive. They have over 300 giving partners across the country supporting numerous causes. Now is a great time to try Thrive Cosmetics for yourself. Right now, you can get 15% off your first order when you visit thrivecosmetics.com slash teen mom. That's Thrive Cosmetics, C A U. S E M E T I C S dot com slash teen mom for 15% off your first order. And as always, that's in the show notes. You know, what you got to do. You got to go to the show notes. Sorry, I was stifling a hiccup just now. Oh, my God. Thank you so much for stifling that. <laughs> um, so, yeah, let's talk about Kaya. Speaking of lash extensions, I tweeted about how clean this house is. It makes me so happy. I feel so it comfortable. Is. It's it's got to be new construction. That house is like beautiful from Perfect. the outside beautiful yep. from the inside i really very like it very manicured it's so nice it's just like the kitchen like i you know i think everyone's kitchen is terrible this kitchen That's is perfect. so perfect it is mm-hmm. Now, uh, I'm glad that we're talking about this now because Xavion is probably getting out of jail this year. So let's start talking about it. But the other day he was getting out in a year and a half. Well, this is a lot of months later. Things change. <laughs> so she said that she talks to Carla. They all get along, but, you know, she doesn't love her, but she gets along with her. And it's she does easier to play nice. Yeah. And she doesn't really have any pictures of Xavion to show him more. OK, but is that true or you just don't want him to know him? You don't think you get a picture because I've seen pictures of him. But that's what I'm saying. What? So what does MTV use? The likeness of him? They you know use what they think he might look like now. It's a, actually a police sketch. It's a sketch. It's right. a sketch. I talked to the people and I told them what I think he might look like. And then that's it. Yes. Mm-hmm. I could picture him right now. He has on like affliction jeans. He dresses like. Yeah. Jeans. Yes. Mm-hmm. So um, he's going to come out in eight months, approximately. Right. So Carla and Xavion have a call and she's like, what are you going to do when you get out of jail from one and a half years away or eight months away? Right. And uh-huh. he's like, oh, I'm going to go away to college. And it's like, well, let me tell you something. Mm-hmm. I don't think mm-hmm. you just get accepted to an out of state college. Mm-mm. I don't think that that's how it works. I think basically maybe he just means he'll just move and go to college where he moves. OK, well, let's see how that works. Yeah, um, I don't know. He, big. he doesn't want to talk to Tiaza. He has like this weird obsession with Tiaza. I think it truly, I listen, I might be speaking wrongly, but I think it truly bothers him that Kai is in a relationship with a woman. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Like it's almost yeah. like a weird way. Because I almost feel like if it was a guy, he wouldn't act so weird about right. it. Right. So mm-hmm. she thinks, uh, Kaya thinks that he's going to go live with Carla. He's never told her that he's going. Right. You know, he's going to yell. They're like, is he going to um, a halfway house? She's like, no, I think he's going to lose his mother. Same thing. Yeah. So, well, he's <laughs> not on the birth certificate. So I like how Tiffany's like, hey, Kaya, is Xavier on the birth certificate? Tiffany, mm-hmm. were you at the birth? Right. I think you were there. OK. Was uh-huh. he there? No. OK. So how would he sign the birth certificate? Right. Did okay. you sign in place of him? Tiffany's like, does he have a relationship with Amor? Tiffany just moved in, I think. Tiffany, <laughs> welcome to the show. Um, uh-huh. Your daughter, mm-hmm. uh, her her baby daddy has mm-hmm. not been around, Tiffany. Uh, do you remember? I like Tiffany. I think that she's a really nice mom. She I think is, she's a really they're, supportive they're prompting mom, but something her. is wrong here. Right. The producers are prompting her. Yeah. So they're talking to Xavion to make a plan. Right. Why are we doing this? He said that some of his family doesn't know he has a kid and he wants to take him around his family. Um, You should tell them. Number one, you would think you would tell them. Okay, You got to tell them. First of all, that is how Mm -hmm. you that's how they know. You don't have to prove to them. You just tell them you have a kid. Right. You don't have to show them the kid for them to believe you. You could show a picture. You could just ask Carla to back you up on some facts. Weird that Carla hasn't told anybody. (laughs) 
It's so and weird. He's, like, he's basically like, hey, listen, October 7th, we have a party. I'm going to take him. Right. It's like, it's like wait God. a minute. Also, you're, you're in- still in jail. Okay. I would, if I was Kaya, I'd be like, yep, sure. Uh huh. Totally. Tracy, you know, that's what I would do. Yeah. So, I'd be like, she- no, totally. You could have him next weekend. <laughs> okay. I'm dropping him off. Uh huh. So she's like, oh, I think you should like meet him first before he. Yeah, of course. But like, why does this matter now? Kaya, stop. Just don't this guy. Come on. She feeds in so easily. She does. But he's like, I don't want issues with Tiaza. And she's like, oh, no, you're not going to have issues with Tiaza. He's like, yeah, but I don't want to have issues with her. She's like, yeah, no, I don't think you're going to have issues with her because like Mm -hmm. everyone's just like, you know, we're just here for more. And like and he's like, yeah, but I don't even want to have issues with her. Meaning I don't want to meet her. Right. Or have so, a relationship. With she's her. like, yeah, it's just like for a more. And then like, you know, we would only probably be together if we were with a more. And he's like, yeah, it's not about the baby. She's like, yeah, it's just about the baby. He's like, no, it's not. Mm-hmm. And she's like, listen, we're all adults. Mm-hmm. Everyone's fun. Everyone's mm-hmm. fine. We're all just going to probably like be at his birthday party, for example. Right. And he's like, just because we're adults, it doesn't mean we have to act like adults. She's like, literally, that is exactly what it is. That's what it means. He's like, not exactly, though. <laughs> She's like, OK, thank you. Bye. Please drive up. And it's crazy because it actually used to be the opposite. I remember when Tiaza was not interested in meeting Xavier right. on and he, she was like, I don't want to have a relationship with him. And then now she's like, whatever, I'm ready for him to come home. Yeah. It's so weird how it's like changed because you know why? I think Tiaza sees that he really won't put any effort in. I think Tiaza sees too, like. He's not a threat to their relationship. No, 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 no. I don't think mm-hmm. so at all. All right. Speaking of a threat to the relationship, let's talk about Kayla. Oh, God. Uh-huh. It's Ide- huh. Isaiah's birthday this week, and Ivory is going to come to the party. Ivory's got that bad energy. Yeah, but also, like, who just don't talk to her. So I know. Her and Luke are having issues. I don't know if you heard. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, he cheated on her. She cheated on him. Okay, so she said that she has not spoken to Stefan and she's been with Luke. They've been dating for four years. Okay. Okay. So it's Isaiah's fourth birthday. Oh, interesting. I did not catch that. Okay. So, I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's when Stefan left the hospital. She met Luke and started dating him. Right. So she's probably been with Luke, let's say three years. Sure. Yeah. So they go to the trampoline park. For Gross. They go Isaiah's to the norovirus part. <laughs> yes. And Noopy goes, bad news, Ivory here. <laughs> so funny. And then Jamie's like, I know. Uh-huh. So it's like, clearly, nobody really likes Ivory all that much. Well, Luke doesn't even pretend with the pinata. He tears it apart and basically pelts the kids in the head with some I would be candy. so mad if I didn't get to smack that pinata. Also, I bought the pinata. Did you ever have a pinata at I like, did. a party? I was a pinata kind of girl. So like nobody ever threw me any parties, right? I've only only as an adult have I ever had a birthday party. But mm-hmm. every year at the Christmas party at the firehouse, mm-hmm. they always have this giant pinata because everybody brings their kids. It's terrible. Yeah. But the kids, <laughs> <laughs> they Matt is always like in charge of it and he gives them this stick. I mean, really, they're going to knock somebody's eye they out. It's violent, terrifying. Yeah. They flip the fuck out for this pinata. And yeah. I'm like, I've never seen kids so excited. You have to let them try to open this thing. That's no. like a joy in a child's life. Mm-mm. He didn't want it. Yeah, he just ripped it open. He's like, no, thanks. Here's the candy. <laughs> yeah, I would have been mad because that was probably expensive. They are expensive, right? Yeah, I mean, I don't I'm know. Sure. I don't think I've ever bought a pinata. I mean, it's more than one dollar. Which is expensive in my right. book. So it wasn't even a big pinata either. It was very small for the amount of kids. It's like it fit Thank three you. Hershey kisses. Thank you. And they're all mine. <laughs> so Noopy comes over the next day and Luke is talking to Noopy. That's so funny. And I wrote Nookie. <laughs> Nookie was there and she was sitting on a dining room chair on the grass. Mm-hmm. So that was good. That's good. Um, I've never seen Kayla's hair dirtier in this scene. Okay. I don't think it was dirty. I think she just blew it out with Vaseline. But that's what I mean. There's Dame a problem gasolina. here. Oh He's so hot, Daddy Yankee. Sorry. I must oh say Oh, my this. God. So they're going to clear the air with Chastity. That's Luke's sister. Right. So now Luke's mom sits down with Chaz. Mm-hmm. And I mean, I don't think she was like super wrong. I don't think she was, she was wrong at all. She was like, listen, he cheated on Kayla. Kayla stayed. She should have left then. 
But instead, it was also like a while ago. Now. Right. Mm-hmm. And she stayed and continued cheating on him. We were on her side when he cheated on her. So why wouldn't we be on his side when she cheats on him? Why can't she take that? She did something wrong now, too. Well, that's the problem. I think that's the problem that Chastity has because she's like, hello, we're just like, being honest. Was, right. We're just being honest. And it's like, I don't think that they hate her. I think that it's the way that Kayla kind of came at yes, them. Absolutely. You know, because I think that they would forgive her. They, they do. They're really, really to. nice to her. Yeah. Yes. All right. Well, moving on. Madison was in this for one second. <laughs> OK, Madison. Madison's a loser and her family are losers. I'm sorry. That is mm-hmm. how I feel about this. That's Thank exactly you what's so happening. much. Thank you so much. Yeah. For so Christian has two jobs. They're looking for a new place and they have to move in two weeks. So she talks to her dad and her dad's like, yeah, I wish you would break up. And she's like, OK, I have to live with him, though. And he's like, true. Right. Because her dad's probably like, I don't have a job either. We have to downsize to right. a shack so right. we can afford Christina is really supporting us all. Thank you. So yeah. Much, Christina. So right. she goes apartment hunting with Christina, non showered in her PJs. Uh huh. I don't want to rent anything. To Neither this do girl. I. Uh uh-uh. uh. So she's like, yeah. So I have to move in with Christian because you know I have to. And they're like, okay, I yeah. you're not here. Whatever. Arkansas is an old chapter of her life. That's okay. Well, said. this is another old chapter. But that's what I mean. Like, where this is, is the, the same new chapter, chapter in Ohio? Also, I don't think that you guys I the problem is I don't think that I think Christian's working and I think he's like bartending and moving mm-hmm. at a moving company. I think he's making some kind of money. So like yeah, I don't he think has that's to, the problem. They have to pay for rent. Right. But I don't think the problem is the money. I think the problem is like get up and go find an apartment. Take a shower. Oh, take a sorry. shower. Please take a shower. Yes. Wear pants. Take a shower. Take a shower. Wear uh-huh. pants. If you're she looking can, at- she wears winged eyeliner. But Put she could take a shower. <laughs> take a shower. She doesn't shower for weeks sometimes. That's so you're gonna crazy. get an infection, Madison. Yes. Uh-huh. You're, you're, you're gonna have a DPH. For you. I bet you already have one. She definitely has one. You uh, could grow speaking, some sourdough down there. Speaking of DPHs, let's talk about Brianna. Oh god. She is insufferable, huh? I don't like her so much. I've always not liked her, but like I don't like her so much more. So Jessica she, takes yes. Brayson on the weekends and he does not want to go to Brianna's house. Brianna's house is going to be condemned so soon. But also, it's not even just that. She's not nice. That's the she's problem. She's not nice. She's like annoyed uh-huh. that she has a kid. No one thinks she's his mother. Okay. So you look young and they think that she you're his that older young. sister. Well, but the thing is, like, who cares? But who are these people? People in restaurants. Oh, okay. Well, stop going to uh-huh. restaurants. So right. she doesn't want him at Jessica's house because he loves her more. So uh, but it's also very hard to have him on her own. Right. So the thing is, like, she works full time. OK, so you don't want your you have somebody willing to take the kids two days a week. That's a problem because he likes being there. Well, she tells him that he can't go to Jessica's house. She's like, by the way, remember grandma that you love? She's, She's dead. So mean. I mean, you just can't go there. She's so mean. <laughs> And uh, so Jessica's like, hey, you don't really have a bedtime routine with him. So it's like hard for me. And she's like, yeah, well, I was doing it did it on Tuesday. Mm-hmm. He went to sleep once. He went to sleep once. I mean, sure, it was seven days and he slept <laughs> two hours, but who cares? So she wants more credit for being a single mom. This has been her storyline forever. She feels like she doesn't get enough credit. <sighs> You're a single mom. We get it. You're on a show called Young and Pregnant. Uh, usually it's about yeah. single Young yeah, moms. Sure. So she um Brayson gets his arm stuck in his mug. Okay. Why is nobody saying butter? Butter? Okay. Can we have butter? Can so we have oil? They just both tell him that he shouldn't have done it. Okay, but Brianna like yells at him. Okay, but then they play scary music in the background. Like this is gonna be the end of him. It's so funny. I didn't even notice the music. I mean, you worst case scenario. Music. Worst case scenario, you just have a mug. So I was just thinking, like, you just always have a mug. mug. Do something. You just always, you always have, a mug. Just have a mug forever. That's pretty good. This kid's there are worse so things you could have on your arm. Mug isn't so bad. And a mug. A you mug. Love a mug so on your hand. I would fucking love a mug on my hand, especially an insulated tumbler. <laughs> <laughs> you do love your insulated tumbler. I do. They put a little bit of lotion. She's. They're like, do you have lotion? She's like, no, I just have this lotion. Right. No, I just have hand sanitizer, but it's a lotion. Okay, well, it's I would put- be rubbing grease from my plate on this poor kid's arm. Right. But also, like, they're not 
very comfortable. Like, I got to tell you something. If that mm-hmm. happened, me with Tracy, not even me in the future, like just me right now, me and Brayson hanging out, he gets a little mugged. Yeah. I'd be like, oh, give me your hand. And but I would just wiggle I mean. it off. I wouldn't be like, oh, God, you, oh, God, why you, you panic? This? So you make him panic. He wasn't even really crying. He wasn't crying, but his arm was super red afterwards. I will say yeah, that. Yeah, because they were, they were not being effective. Well, that's the problem. And then Brianna's just like, you did this. See, it's you did this to yourself. And it's like, why are you being mean? I had a flashback. I'm going to tell you really quick. Uh-huh. I went to get pizza with my dad many years ago. Oh, no. I was like, I don't know, seven. Mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, what is this apparatus? This crushed red pepper? I don't know what it is. So I put a bunch of it in my mouth mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and I'm like dying. My head's exploding. Mm-hmm. Now. You've and done I'm this like, in my car before, by the way. I, I Well, I did that when I got in my eye in your car. <laughs> I'm like, dad, like this is very bad. Like, I don't feel good. Like I need mm. a water. And he's like, don't know what to tell you. You did it to yourself. And Man. I was jam. I was jamming napkins in my mouth because my mouth was on fire. I was dying. I was like seven years old. I had a mouth full of them. Did not anyone know in the restaurant helped you? Uh uh-uh. uh. And we were like waiting for pizza to take home, and there was no drink. My father did not get me a drink. You lived through it. I lived through it, but it's kind of like you're a fucking asshole. What you does it like, kill this you? Why makes I you like this. Yeah, yeah, no, Kelly. Not, this this is why I'm like this. That's not uh-huh. good. That's Mm-mm. not good at all. Uh-huh. Um. I would have given you a piece of cheese. <laughs> really? I would have been like, here's a shot of milk, kid. Something. No, I mean, you're in a pizzeria. I would have been like, hey, can we have a little shred of cheese? My kid needs to have a little snacky poo. And that my dad thought I first, my dad thought I did it because I wanted something to drink. Oh, like, were, OK, but also yeah. <laughs> I would have also have myself. Some, OK, but also you could have something to drink. Yeah, I, but that's the thing. Red pepper no. or not, I'll get you a drink. No, mm-hmm. no. All right. Well, I will never do that. If you ever poison yourself, I will uh, give you the antidote. Thank you so much. And a piece of cheese just for good measure. Whether it's I would like a piece not. of cheese all the time. Yeah. Like even if you just drink po- straight poison, I'll be like, here's some cheese also. I know I was obsessing earlier about like what happens like because I have bleach tablets and I'm like, what happens if you swallow one of these? And I was obsessing about how like mm-hmm. it would dissolve in your stomach. You would just die. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, That's mm-hmm. a bad feeling. How many did you take? <laughs> no, I didn't take <laughs> I didn't think they're way too big for me to swallow. Anyway. Yeah, well, that's the <laughs> other thing. I think we're safe. I can't swallow a disc. Yeah, you can't. You can't swallow a Sudafed. I think we're good. That's true. Sudafed would give me anxiety anyway. Me too. But I'm just saying yeah. the size of the pill is quite small. Yeah, I can't swallow a Sudafed. Yeah. So I think we're safe. I don't think you're going to swallow any bleach tablets. If you do, I would be so proud of you. I'm Thank like, you so you. much. You can't even take an Advil. You took 12 bleach tablets. <laughs> You go like Coco. Yes, I'm so proud of you. Well, you guys did it. Uh, You followed us on YouTube. Thank you so much. But you can't stop now. No, can't stop, won't stop. Let's go. You know what? Uh, In the next week or so, you're going to see some video from us because you uh, you kept your end of the deal. So now we have to keep ours. Yeah, we're going to keep ours. Go to TracyCarnazzo.com for everything podcast related and all of my upcoming tour dates, which actually there are a lot. So go check that out. You can follow Noel at Noe Girl on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. I'm at Trixie Tuzini on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Follow the podcast at Teen Mom Podcast on Twitter, Teen Mom Trash Talk on Instagram. Give us a five-star review. Give us an amazing, amazing review. T- tell everyone what you love about the podcast right there on whatever platform you listen to us on do all the stuff and okay. uh, we have some merch for sale. So go check it out at Tracy Uh We have a really, really good um, review. You want to <laughs> hear it? Oh, hell yeah. I want to hear it. Uh, well, hell yeah. I'm going to read it for you. Thank you Made so much. Five stars. Made the effort to write a review. Well, <laughs> I fucking love being tricked into one of Tracy's smooth transitions. She's a regular Dolcalax premium <laughs> stool softener. Do you know how many packets packs of bologna I've purchased that immediately thrown away because Noelle says yum. And I think maybe this time it will be yum. <laughs> this duo reminds me of a Valley girl version of me and my best friend. Noelle is like a secret sniper of comedy. Whereas Tracy and I have the grace of a box of firecrackers. I'm not sure how to end this. I don't really write reviews, except I've been berated for two years to rate you and give you five stars. By the way, this wasn't an ad for Dolcalax. 
Okay, well, that's the best review I've ever heard. Thank My you, face Medrin. Turns a little red. I love you, Medrin. <laughs> Medrin K. Um, so if you guys want your review read on the podcast, give us a rating. Give us a little review. Do a little stuff. Do the stuff. Just tell us what you like. Tell us what you liked us. Also, before we leave, this yeah. is our five-year anniversary. Hell yes, it is, Tracy. Thank you for being with us for the last five years. You've seen us uh, blossom into beautiful women. We both got our periods. I actually we both got that. our periods. Oh no, Tracy has never gotten her period day in her life. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't get your permanent. I never got my period. Some things never that. happen. <laughs> yeah, listen, that's just how it is. Good Some for things you. Just never happen for us, uh, guys. We'll see you next week. Okay. YouTube, go follow it. Uh, it's right down there in the show notes. So just go follow the YouTube. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs>